Peace, y'all. Hey. I'm Ivory. I'm back. And it's time to eat again. And today, I made tacos. So, we're actually going to build these together. But I have three different types of meat. Three different types of taco shells. And I'm hungry and excited. So, I have some grouper fish here. Some thick, meaty grouper fish. Some gulf shrimp the medium size, and two chicken breast fillets. I made all of this on my indoor grill. Okay, so I'll be using three different taco shells today. I have some almond flour soft tacos that I'm gonna make. Also, some mini tacos. They're like little boats with the regular flour. And then here, I have some vegan taco shells that I'm trying today. So I'm also using some hot and spicy taco mix and some original taco mix. I'm going to blend them together and season my meat with them on my indoor grill. And I'm going to grill some grouper fish, some medium sized gulf shrimp, and some chicken. And these are my seasonings back here. Some Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning, some garlic powder, and some black and white pepper. And I'm not using any salt because there's already salt in the taco seasoning. And some olive oil. Okay, so I did just finish grilling the meat on the actual grill, and then I cut it down to low and put it on this aluminum foil. I'm going to leave it here to stay warm. i probably just add some lime pieces to the top of the grouper. These are the chicken, um, the grilled chicken fillets, and the medium gold shrimp. I'm just going to close that up and let it stay warm while I finish everything else, and that's that. Okay, so I have a lot of toppings. I have some lettuce and tomato here, some diced tomato, and some romaine lettuce that I cut up. I have two different types of cheese here, mozzarella cheese and sharp cheddar cheese. I have some mango peach salsa. It looks like it has corn in it, but it's not corn. It's mango chunks. Look at this, y'all. Mmm. But back here, I have some onions, mm. some onions and jalapenos that I cut up. And I have some sour cream and some spicy guacamole. So y'all, I'm hungry. Oh, I got some sun chips here. Start with a sun chip and some guacamole. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's good. I have some Kendall Jackson white wine. Some Chardonnay. Mmm, hey. Some lime water, and I already squeezed my lime on top of the ice. Mm -hmm. And for dessert, I have some pretzel sticks with chocolate in the middle. And I also have some green grapes. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna start with a boat. And let's do shrimp and chicken. A little bit of cheese. I think I want some jalapeno and onion. Mm -hmm. And Just a little bit of lettuce and tomato on top. And some hot taco sauce. Taco Bell taco sauce. Mm -hmm. Ooh, y'all look at my cute little boat. <laughs> mm 
Mmm. 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 Gulf shrimp. It's so good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. I'm gonna try one of the vegan shells this time. Trying to think if I want to do the grouper fish. Let me do a chicken, a regular chicken first. And then I'll do the grouper in one of the soft shells. Okay. Yeah. That chicken breast. Mm. Juicy and spicy. Okay. Put a little taco sauce on top of the chicken. Just a little mango peach salsa. Mm -hmm. Lettuce. I'll leave off the tomato. Since I have the salsa inside, let's do some sour cream. And just a little bit more taco sauce. Mm. Now I don't ever want another grain corn taco shell. This vegan shell with the avocado oil, I can't necessarily taste the avocado, but I taste the freshness. Like it tastes earthy and light. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good. It's plain though. It doesn't necessarily have like a, a strong flavor, but it's good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Way better than corn tortillas. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna eat both of these. Yep. No. Mmm. Okay, let me try this almond flour um, tortilla shell so I can get back to the vegan crunchy. Okay. Now I'm gonna put some grouper fish. And grouper fish is very meaty, but it's also light at the same time. In the way that you don't have to cut it up. It breaks up on its own. Mmm. Grouper fish is good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It is. Alright, some cheese. Uh oh, I forgot my 
Taco song. Okay, lettuce and tomato. And that mango peach salsa is good. Mm -hmm. It's so good, it's sweet. Okay. A lot of tomato. Get some onions. Alright. A little bit more taco sauce. Or a lot more. <laughs> mm. That group of fish is good. Mm, my lipstick going everywhere. <laughs> That's all I love with a taco. <laughs> Dang. Mm. The group of fish is good, but I don't love this almond flour. Shell. I like it, but I think I want it like with a breakfast wrap. Mm. Mm -hmm. This grouper is good. Y'all see how thick it looks? Mm -hmm. I like the group of fish, but I don't like the almond flower shell. Mm -hmm. mm. It's good with the um salsa. The group of fish. Mm. All right, let's do some grouper with mango peach salsa. Mm. Mm. It's good like that. Woo! Mm. If you have never had grouper fish, it's a little pricey, but listen, it's worth it. It's worth it. Mm. Cilantro. I guess I'm gonna get into this wine, huh? <laughs> I'm just been eating. Mm. 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 Oh, it's good. I'm good right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Cheers, y'all. <laughs> Cheers. And a special shout out to Ebony, Tania, Maureen, Georgiana, Travi, and Rataj. Peace, y'all. Cheers. Mm. 
Kendall Jackson will never fail you, ever. Mm, mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. It's good, y'all. Okay, now let me do a grouper and shrimp. You want to see grouper fish with a Cajun seasoning and taco seasoning on it? Mm. But look, it just breaks up so easily. Mm. It's so flaky. Mm hmm. It's white, so I don't know if y'all can really see it. A grouper is good. <laughs> it's good. It is. All right, let me break it up a little bit. Uh oh, not my shell. Okay. So I got some grouper, and let's put a couple pieces of shrimp. Mm -hmm. Some mango, peach salsa. Mm -hmm. A little bit of tomato. I mean, lettuce on top. No need for tomatoes since I have the tomato and the salsa. And some onions. Mm -hmm. And then finally, dang. some hot taco sauce. Jeez. Oh, All right. Mm, yeah. You want to see it? I'm not lying or exaggerating, y'all. The vegan shell is better than the corn tortilla shell. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is good. It really is. <laughs> it's so freaking good, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Some onions, tomato, a little bit of the shell that broke off. Mm. cheese on it. It's so good. It's so good. I love it. <laughs>
that grouper. It was good. It was good. And I'm about full now. And I'm so thankful <laughs> that I have plenty more left over because this right here, those are some lime slices, by the way. This is so good. <clears throat> That's the rest of the chicken. I got some shrimp and some, mm, yes. And that's plenty of grouper fish. It might seem like, oh wow, it's just a bite. May as well just eat it now. Mm -mm. Grouper fish is so thick and meaty. Put that with some shrimp. That's a whole taco right there. Mm-hmm. Mm. pretzel sticks and these are dark chocolate pretzel sticks they have dark chocolate in the middle and I also have some green grapes okay so y'all I did quickly want to chat with y'all about something that I had seen on the news it was actually a couple of days ago but my spirit just will not let this go like I don't know who needs to hear this or who needs to be reminded <laughs> that your intuition will never lie to you. Even, mm -hmm. now look at the chocolate in the middle. Even if sometimes it seems like you're doing something strange or something you never even heard before, something that you think, okay, people might think that this is a little far-fetched, but I just got this feeling. I just got this inkling inside to do this thing. So y'all, out in San Antonio, Texas, there is a couple who they, I believe that they had either just moved into a new neighborhood or they simply just started taking their, their um, toddler to a new daycare. Either way it goes, it was a new um, daycare center. And they started sending their one-year-old, one-and-a-half-year-old kid to this daycare. And the mother said that after a few weeks, she started seeing some changes in her kid, in her child's behavior. Mm, it's a good Real sweet though. Really sweet. Mm, yeah, they look so bright and fresh. Mm -hmm. So the mother said that she was getting this feeling like something wasn't right with her kid because of the violent outburst and because one day she said that she saw one of the daycare teachers deny her child water now myself personally that would have been a big deal in the moment and i don't know how she handled that but she said that the water incident and her child's behavior at home is what led her to plant a recording device in her kid's jacket. 
Now, she said that she got this idea from a novel that she read. But I know, and she knows, it was her intuition that led her to actually do what she did. So the recording device picked up some It picked up some conversations between these two daycare teachers. And I use the word teacher very loosely here. But they were threatening the kids, yelling at the children. They were, honestly, it sounded like they were role playing. Like when I was listening, it didn't seem like adult daycare teachers talking to children it sounded like a, like they were acting or something because i'm thinking wow there's no reason for them to be saying the things that they were saying to those children it was very cringy to listen to and if it wasn't the actual news I don't know if I would have even believed this, but um, apparently there's still an investigation going on. The daycare lost its accreditation. That's a big deal to lose your accreditation because you lose your, your title, that piece that makes your, your business legit. If you're no longer accredited, the county the state they don't recognize your business as a real business you just, you just got a center with some kids there so they took their child out and they reported this to child protective services the news the police <clears throat> I don't blame them because even though I don't have small children in daycare, I still understand what it's like to feel moved by your spirit to make a, a decision to do or not do a thing. And with the fact that her kid was starting to violently act out at home due to the stressful environment that that kid was dealing with all day long at school, at school. Mm. it's possible that this woman she could have saved her kid from more trauma or even something possibly fatal like as a teacher whether it's pre-k high school middle school a catholic school or a public school it don't matter they're minors, they're babies. If you can't treat these kids with care, you need to pick something else. Pick something else, pick something a little less hands-on, a little less involving and engaging with children. If you feel like you, it's not the job for you, if you hate them kids that bad, if they that damn bad, just please go, go do something else. But for everybody watching this, it's not necessarily about this child or this family, this situation. The key element here is her intuition. That woman sat there, ripped open that jacket and sewed in a whole device in there because she had that feeling. She knew it and she needed to confirm it. Either way it goes, listen to your spirit. I just wanted to shout out this woman or following her intuition. And whether it's a decision for your child or a decision for yourself, if you feel that feeling in your knower, that gut feeling deep down inside, that is your intuition. It's important to make sure that your chakras are clear and that your, your mind is free of stress so that you can hear the word of God that speaks 
to you, through you. You can't always be there, especially with kids. You can't always be there. You can't always be there. So you have to be able to tap in spiritually and pick up on when something's not right. I love y'all. And cheers to you. Just follow your intuition. And women, we have built-in intuition through our womb. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. And men, I believe there's something down in your balls. I think it's, it's something in there. <laughs> I think there's something up in there, okay? <laughs> Got to be. Because that's where life comes from. That's where God is. In your spirit. Through your womb. Throw it through your balls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. You get a feeling. <laughs> Down within. <laughs> and it leads you to do and not do things. Make sure your chakras are clear. Make sure your mind is free of stress. Get them toxic people about your life so that you can hear God speak through your intuition. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs> I do. And I think I'm going to make some Alfredo tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I love y'all. Peace.